is day five of the lockdown and I'm wearing a mask. I'm going out to get some drinks downstairs at the shop below. And today I'm probably gonna do some detailing on the figurized trunks that I did yesterday. Maybe, maybe not. I might do something else. I haven't decided yet. I'll decide once I get back. And yes, that's all for now. Just going to the shop to get some drinks. Yep, see you later. Alright, now I'm back at home and yes, I'm gonna start on my detailing on trunks. So I'll just show you the before look. So we can have a good look of trunks here. Can we focus please? Here are his trunks with just some basic painting done already. So the shading and detailing I will be doing next. So you can see there's no shading done all over. And we have this face here, the Super Saiyan one. I'm probably gonna uh, paint over the hair because I don't like this curly kind of plastic. It looks very cheap. So you can see the details on the sword, which I've already painted this part in blue and this is silver. This The blue part was originally brown. The whole thing here is brown and the silver part was originally in white. The shield and the sword, sorry. The sword was in full white color. And I think I mentioned in my previous video, I only use this capsule corp sticker. Nothing else. And this is already a, quite a cool pose. Yep, that's it. So let's start. I'm gonna do the basics first. I'm gonna use this grey for most of the body parts and brown for the skin tones and maybe the boots. Alright, I'm done with the face. Have a look here. Just adds that little bit more depth into the details. A little bit of shading goes a long way. And time for the rest of the parts. Let's go. Wow, 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 wow. Finally finished with my trunks here. Looking very awesome looking. Um, I did what I did um, for Bardock, my Bardock figure eyes, exactly the same style. 
just a little bit of shading and a lot of like um, pen strokes around to give it like a sort of like a manga look can show it to you up close here let me pull the light forward a bit as you can see the pen strokes are all around the body and some slight strokes on the face it's not really picking up on camera but I'll do a few shots later for some close-ups and for the back and of course you must um, end off the whole thing with a matte top coat to give it a more natural kind of look if not it'll look too plasticky and the sword fully painted silver and brown so if I were to so overall aesthetics wise I'm a bit of a bias here I'm team Vegeta I, my favorite character is Vegeta number one sometimes Trunks is number one but it's number two most of the time I prefer uh, this Trunks during the Android Saga um, Trunks is number one for me and other arcs Vegeta is number one the Dragon Ball Super Trunks I don't really like him he's um, a little bit of a crybaby so that character is not my liking he, you know when he have any problems oh just go back in time ask my dad and Goku for help so uh, I don't really like that character but Although he did the same thing during the Android Saga, but he's a bit more upfront and cooler about it. You know, there's this scene um, when he was training with Vegeta in Dragon Ball Super where he thought like, oh, he, he smiled and then thought that uh, he can hand the problem all over to his father and Goku. And then Vegeta just gave him a punch in the face to wake him up. Yeah, that's the chunks that I dislike. So overall aesthetics wise I would say this is mm, still not perfect I would say maybe 4 out of 5. Um, there is one major gripe that I have. The only thing that I have a problem with with this model kit is actually his Super Saiyan hair. As you can see here Mm, to normal fans, you might not notice, but you can see there's his hair, so called like uh, fillers. There are four fillers on the front, which I don't think is accurate to the manga or even the anime. There should only be two fillers or hair fringe or whatever you want to call it, like this on the front. His normal hair, normal form hair is fine but in Super Saiyan somehow he has 4 so I'm not sure what they were thinking when they made this decision but it looks a bit weird to me but overall it's still fine Trunks is this Trunks is my top favorite character other than Vegeta so I will still I still like this uh, model kit a lot so what we have here standard is it's not really standard actually I think he's the only one that comes with normal form hair and super saiyan hair and we have only one face for his normal form and one stern looking face for super saiyan and one standard looking shouting face as for the hands um, the standard close fist I have here one to grip the sword Two blast hands it's a must there's this scene in Dragon Ball Z that I thought it was quite funny you know the technique where he do this <laughs> yeah that that attack I'm not sure what what is this all about but I thought it was a little bit 
funny but cool at the same time. And another two pairs of hands. It's sort of like uh, another pair of hands to hold the sword but not really grip the sword. Like you use this one to grip the handle of the sword, then maybe the other one to like balance the sword, something like that. This kind of pose, which I'll show you later. Uh, I took some photos and some shots. Size comparison with So here's a quick size comparison with his father, Vegeta. I think the the height difference is alright. Mm, I think if I did not remember correctly, Trunks is slightly taller than Vegeta, but not that much. But this Goku, Goku should be taller than Trunks. So let's see. Yep, Goku is much taller, but I think um, Goku shouldn't be that much taller. Maybe half a centimeter lower should be alright, but it's, it's fine with me. As long as he is taller than his father here. There is one thing that I need to point out is the amount of stickers here. It's a little too much, I think, for a normal collector. If you don't have any painting experience, using these stickers will not help make your kit look good. As you can see, the stickers are on, on, for un, as you can see, the stickers are for uneven surfaces. For this strap here for the sword and his belt, it's not a flat square surface. There's uh, curves and textures on it, so stickers definitely won't last. Another part for the stickers is these two blue ones here. It's for... What's this called? Okay, I just googled. This thing is called the scabbard. Scabbard. Is that how you pronounce it? S-C-A-B-B-A-R-D. Scabbard. Scabbard. It's a sheath. So it's a scabbard or sheath. I don't know, whatever it is. The blue stickers here are for these two blue parts which I've painted myself. So these two definitely will not last if you use the stickers on this part as it goes around. So I would say if you are not a big fan of trunks, I think this might be a pass. Unless you are just a collector who wants to collect every single figure eyes because stickers is quite a turn off but still for me I, I do some light painting it's fine for me Trunks is my favorite character so it was a no-brainer for me so let me know what you think of this and yeah next is probably gonna be his father Vegeta in the Super Saiyan form and yes I haven't did my push-ups 22 for today let's do it now Just done my 22 push-ups and I think I'll call it a day and let me know what you think of my figureized trunks and also tag me on Instagram if you have the trunks or any other figureized you can tag me so we can share each other's model kits and that's all for today I'll see you again tomorrow bye bye